Hi thinkers, welcome to the data structures in Python course on thinkxacademy.com. In this video, we are going to cover adjacency list in Python. So basically, we are going to write a program in Python here, which will uh, use adjacency list to implement a graph data structure. We will be using these types of implementation of graph in a lot of future coming tutorials where we will be solving problems related to graph theory. So let's start with this. Now, the first thing we need to do here is, as we already know that this is actually a linked list, adjacency list are essentially linked list. Here you can see I have a graph and here is a representation of the adjacency list. You can see that we have four nodes, 0, 1, 2, 3, and corresponding to that, I have four linked list. And you can see since zero is connected to one and three, one and three are in this list. So what we wish to do is we wish to write a program in Python where I will specify uh, the nodes and uh, how they are connected by providing the edges. And what I wish is the program should uh, return the output of all the items in the list, right? So let's start with this now. The first step is very obvious. We will first have to just create a class node and instead of node let's create a class vertex why we are creating this class vertex is because we know that whenever we want to insert any element inside of this list we will have to first allocate the node here in our case the node represent the vertex of the graph so that's why i'm saying class vertex here uh, the first step is obviously to create a a constructor using this init uh, constructor and here I will specify self comma the data of the vertex that we wish to allocate now here what I want to do is I want to create a variable with the name I will name it as vertex is equals to data and the second thing we know that this vertex, uh, every vertex that we wish to insert in the linked list will have data and the next pointer. So I'm simply going to create a next pointer. And we know that initially it is going to point to null. The second step is to create a class graph, right? Initially this, uh, uh, we, we will have to create the whole uh, graph here. So here also we will have a constructor which is init constructor and in this init construction uh, constructor we have self comma the number of vertices that we wish to insert inside of this graph data structure and here inside of this constructor we will first assign i will create a variable nv which uh, is basically the number of vertices and I'm going to assign it equals to vertices which was passed at the time of object creation right so now let's create the driver program here which is basically going to or the driver code which is going to actually run this code the first thing I need to do is is to create an object of this graph class and here I will pass the number of vertices, right? So let's say the number of vertices is equals to five here. So now it will create a, an object of this graph class with the number of vertices as five, all right? So here let's first assign the main function. So if name is equals to is equals to main function right so this is just basically defining a main function and here i'm going to create the object now so the main function will automatically run and it will create an object with the number of vertices as five the next steps are very simple we just need to create a function which will basically add the edge to this graph right so i will have to add an edge to this graph so uh, let's take a very first example 
when we want to add the edge we will first provide the source and then we will provide the destination so here from this example let's try to construct this graph so let's pick up a, a node here i have picked up this node 0 so the source is here i'm going to write here that the source is 0 and the edge goes from 0 to 1 so this is one edge inside of the graph the second edge will be graph dot add edge right the second one will be uh, let's say from 1 to 2 right so similarly we will have such types of construction so i'm just going to copy this line and i'm just going to paste it here right so let's add some more uh, we have five edges here so i will just write five times this one right so the second vertex here you can see is 2 comma 3 right so 2 is connected to 3 and similarly we have 3 connected to 0 and the final one is 0 is connected to 3 all right we have already done that so 1 is also connected to 3 so we will have to write that also right so now we have uh, these five edges inside of this graph this graph is an undirected graph so i will have to make sure that uh, here when we are trying to add these edges i should consider that case also so we will see that in this program only so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create uh, or define a function which is the add edge function and it will basically add the edge to this graph this will have a self parameter the source parameter and the destination parameter something like this right so before moving on to this function there is one more parameter that uh, i will add to this constructor here right the, uh, this is a very important parameter i am going to write self dot i will create a graph array right so let's create a graph array here which will be equal to none times self dot nv right so what are we trying to do in this line you can see that uh, we will have to actually create four linked list for that what i am going to do is i am going to create an array with the four positions and initially they are all null right so whenever i want to uh, push an element inside of any linked list i will push that inside of this array right so here i have just created that uh, so nv is the number of vertices which is here right so this declaration is something similar to like this right so in our case since we have four number of vertices so it is basically going to create an array with these four elements now these four elements starts from 0 1 2 and 3 and now what we can do is we can wish uh, we can insert each of these linked list inside of this array right so i'm just going to revert it back to uh, what it was originally we will have to write it like this right now let's move on to the very important function which is the add edge function so here we will have to write uh, first of all uh, first thing is very simple which is we need to first insert the node right we, we will have to allocate the node using this vertex and we will provide it with the data right so here we have the uh, vertex and i want to write the source here right so what we are trying to do is a uh, source you can see here we are given zero so we are first going to create a node which uh, will basically be uh, created using this class here which is vertex now this will have the source data source is zero here you can see that and uh, here let's first make it destination not source right so first we want to uh, allocate the destination so you can see uh, for zero we have zeroth position the first node that i wish to enter is one which is the destination 
right so you can see here one is the destination so i will allocate it using this command which is vertex right so uh, after allocating this i will have to make sure that that this node the next of this point uh, this particular node which is one in our case in the first one if we consider the first edge only so now i'm going to write two of the very important lines here right make sure to uh, watch this part carefully because these two lines are the crux of this whole uh, video right so the first thing i'm going to do is i will have to reassign the next pointer of this node so let's see how we can do that now uh, first of all this node one is uh, in, uh, is allocated so this node will have a data one and you can see here it will have a next pointer which is pointing to null now every time uh, we want to add an edge what we are trying to do is we will have to allocate the node and since this array here is going to uh, manage all the linked list we will have to push these uh, edges or these nodes to this array right so we will have to push them here now here we know that it will create uh, n number of none uh, places here which will basically the number of linked list that we wish to insert here so what we will simply do is when once we have allocated the destination node we will assign the next pointer of it to the self dot graph array right so we have this graph array and to the source position right so you can see that source is zero so at the zeroth position in this array we are going to make sure that this node is pointing the next of this node is going to point to the to that position so uh, let's see here what will be the status of the array after this first edge is inserted so instead of writing this let's assume this right since we have four nodes it is going to look something like this so you can see here at the source position of the graph array we have none the next of node is none it is going to point to this uh, value here so we know that this line will actually create a node which has a value one right so let's write it on this line here because here we are creating a node which has a one and it has a null pointer right so here in the first edge we have we are allocating one which is also having a next pointer which is pointing to none now what i will do is the next of this pointer node right it was pointing to none i will uh, reinitialize it or i will sorry i will reassign it to the source position of this graph array right so what is the source position it is zero so at this position zero now it is going to become something like this right so now we have inserted node one inside of this graph array now let's take a look at the second line which is again a very important line which is self dot graph array the source position of this is going to be equal to the node right so at the zeroth position of this graph right we are going to make sure that it is equal to node so this whole node with the data is going to get inserted here right so node dot next is actually uh, equal to whatever position we have here so after this the status of the array will look something like this now uh, if we want to insert the elements uh, if i if here we have 0 comma 1 and we wish to insert 1 comma 0 edge what i can do is instead of again making another call of 1 comma 0 if we want to insert 1 comma 0 instead of call, uh, making another call we can just copy these three lines and just replace the source and destination and this will automatically work now let's uh, write a utility function which is graph dot print graph function which will print all the values uh, inside of the graph which will display all of these linked list 
so here I will simply define a function which is the print graph function right so uh, the way I'm going to do here is I'm first going to write a for loop which goes from for i in range right it will go from each and every vertex so in range we have self dot nv which is the number of vertices so we want to run an iteration so that we can go from each and every edge uh, from each and every vertex so we have self dot nv so this function will basically run four times and each and every time I will have to display the whole link list which is stored inside of this graph array here so the way to do is I'm first going to write here that print that list of vertex right so I will write some curly brackets here right and here I am going to write dot format instead of the these curly brackets I want to insert I so what this will print is list of vertex 0 in the first iteration then 1 then 2 and then 3 and so on so first we are printing that that list of vertex 0 so these curly brackets is actually formatted as I and here I am going to also uh, add a separator which is end equals to this right all right so let's move on to the next line inside of this for loop what i'm going to do is i am going to create a temporary value and i will assign it to this graph so that we do not mess up with anything related to this graph so i will create a temporary graph uh, array and we have the ith position here so every time i am actually taking each and every position of this graph array right so uh, at the first iteration it will pick up the list uh, or the whole link list from the zeroth position of this array right so let's see how we can uh, simply print this right i will run a while loop while temp and this while loop will keep running and we will keep assigning temp equals to temp dot next right so in the link list we are going to actually use this updation value so that the temp will go from the first value in the list and it will go three uh, till the end right so here we'll have to leave some indentation also and here i'm going to print the value right let's print the whole link list here like this and here i will again use the format function and in the format i am going to write temp dot value of the vertex right so we have vertex here and again i will add a separator which is end equals to zero right so end equals to this double quotes so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually displaying the value of the link list at the temp dot vertex and I will keep updating the value of temp to the next node and it will keep displaying until and unless the value of temp becomes null right. So it is a simple way to traverse in a link list. We will have to remove these double quotes from here and now this program will run and here this print statement I'm going to align it to the while loop only and now let's just save the changes and let's see the output of this program here in the terminal all right so you can see here this is the output of this program so uh, the list of vertex at 0 is starting from 3 and 1 so uh, this is right because 0 is connected to 3 and also 1 and similarly for vertex 1 uh, 3 2 0 for vertex 2 we have 3 1 and for vertex 3 we have 0, 2 and a 1. 